Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today we're going to be talking about how to create a child theme and that includes removing unused scripts and code. To start off, you'll want to find the child theme configurator plugin and install it onto your website. After the plugin is installed, navigate to tools and then child themes. Select create a new child theme. Then you'll select a parent theme. Then click analyze. After it loads, name your child theme. Also make sure where to save is set as primary and use the WordPress style queue is selected. Here you can click to edit child theme attributes and rename anything you like. When you're ready, click Create Child Theme. Now, when you go to Appearance and then Themes, you should have your child theme there. If you would like to edit your child theme, you can click Theme Editor. Here, choose your child theme and click Select. Now go to Theme Functions. We are going to add some PHP that will strip out unnecessary WooCommerce. WooCommerce causes issues because all of the block styles for Gutenberg load on every page, which is not ideal because it slows down the site speed. PHP allows you to filter WooCommerce from pages that do not have store pages and remove all of the different blocks and styles that don't need to be loaded. After the PHP is inserted into theme functions, click Update File. It should say it edited it successfully. You can also do this to remove front-end Jetpack CSS scripts for share counting and other front-end CSS that most sites don't use. Simply add this PHP to your theme functions file like we did the WooCommerce PHP and click Update File. Now you can go back to your themes and activate the child theme. And that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to this playlist, subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. You can find us on all major social media networks. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.